People have asked me about the celiac disease. You know, bottom line, and, and, and I, I love this word. I think, I think Webster's Dictionary should put this in their dictionary. Interstitial lymphatic constipation. Don't you? I mean, that's interstitial. That's where your problem is. That means around the cells. That's that interstitial fluid. If it's in the small bowel, if it's in the colon, in the small bowel, you're going to get malabsorption. No question about it. You're going to break down the villi in time. I mean, this is all part of the whole thing. But if it can be in the lungs, I mean, it starts to be head to toe. And if you have this, it's moving to the liver, the pancreas, because this is a fluid that, that, that's systemic, meaning head to toe. Where do we find the decay of things? We find it more on the acid side than the base side, of course. Very rarely do you get pHs up around uh, 14, uh, 12. I'm talking in systemically here. Uh, we find more acidosis by far. Of course we do. Now, allopathically, of course, they think the opposite for some reason. Remember, the lymph system is that one magic fluid that most people just know it as the lymph system. When they get stiff and sore, they look for a massage therapist. When they get pain, they look for an acupuncturist or a chiropractor. In other words, you're looking for a remedy from lymphatic problems. And the problem is, is that all these forms of therapeutic modalities are terrific. Unbelievable what I've seen chiropractics do. Massage therapists, a good one, can really open up some doors. Some good acupuncturists. But the reality is that someday you've got to go in and remove the obstruction, the acid that are causing the pain, that are causing the, 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 the limp, that's causing the stiffness and the tightness and the pulling on the spine. We've got to go in and deal with that system. It's been a system that's been ignored. I can't understand why. Uh, it's obviously the predominant uh, system of the body, immune slash sewer system. So always know that when you have lymphatic problems, you have it from head to toe. Just because you're unaware of it, a lot of people can be backed up lymphatically and not have arthritis yet. And that's when you start to notice those pains in the joints and things. This becomes a chronic issue because this has been years, years in the making. So it takes a little while to unwind that. I think, I think what's neat is that we can unwind this so much faster than we created it. Thank you, God. Because imagine having to take 20, 30, 40 years to unwind uh, to a point where you're free of pain and stuff. Why gluten destroys some people's intestinal villa and yet others? Well, I think it's a combination, to be honest with you. Uh, gluten is really, uh, it's a glue. And, and uh, some people, depending on what they eat, are able to move that out. It doesn't stick on the bowel wall, but uh, your proteins are, are really bad. Your, your, your uh, meat proteins are really bad on the intestinal villi. So really, uh, you got to get on that raw. You know, get up on that raw, get up on that fruit, and clean that out and start rebuilding the bowel and stuff. The bowel will rebuild itself. You just have to, you have to keep after that and uh, go after that. It's the same reason you see in some people's genetics are strong and, uh, and others are weaker. So everybody has unique tissues that are weaker over others. But gluten is a glue on everybody. Uh, it's possible that some people break it down better, but uh, those that don't, of course, is going to have more pancreatic problems, and uh, maybe you have some pancreatic problems, but gluten is a glue to most people anyway. Uh, it's a proteins are just as bad on the villi. Uh, even worse, because you have putrefaction going on there. At least with the gluten, you have fermentation. Dr. Morris, I have questions about food allergies and intolerance. For example, peanut allergy and gluten intolerance. You know, this comes about uh, uh, with, a, with a, a lymph system in the state that peoples are, and the gut, the shape peoples are, and all the... Uh, the sulfur drugs and all that's, that, that's damaged the human body from the villi to the to everything. So I, I think it's Im important that one just shift their consciousness to getting well. Shifting it and starting to eat the appropriate foods, as we've been discussing, the fruits and berries and melons to move lymph. You can have some salads and stuff. I've always seen the lymph with allergies and the peanuts and all this stuff. That's all the lymph system. And once you clean that lymph system out, you don't, you're, you're, you're not intolerant to anything. Uh, I see this all the time.
question here is, do people have strong reactions against certain food or substances in food because of genetic weaknesses or weak constitution? This could be, this could be, this could be, absolutely. Uh, if you have a good example, that's what we're seeing in the hepatic levels, which is the liver levels. You're seeing a lot of genetic weaknesses in gallbladders and in liver. So these infants are having a very hard time with these crappy, high-protein, high-fat formulas, which are causing so much mucus. And then now they're trying to get, you know, having trouble with all the mucus and congestion with the poor kidneys the way they are. They're forming tumors like nobody's business as infants. So we're seeing a lot of, a lot, a lot of problems. And then the adrenals are down. So your nervous systems are down. Your steroids are down. And just uh, everybody's down. So just turning, shifting that attention to a state of health, meaning that you're going to have to use detoxification to get there, uh, the process of re cleaning and revitalizing the human body, then all this stuff's going to go away. I wonder if someone with a Celtic or gluten um, sensitivity, oh, celiac or, oh, sorry, or, or gluten sensitivity would react to herbal tinctures made from grain alcohol. No, we, we have that all the time, man. I felt my colitis symptoms returning from the tinctures. Oh, wow. I was taking from my local health food store. I've never seen that with us because we have a plan and we use the stomach and bowel number one or any one of those, which helps to buffer all that as well. So I think the way we put our program together, I think you're not going to experience that. I know we haven't had really any complaints about that, to tell you the truth. But if you have colitis there, again, remember, in the wall type of thing. So move your lip. Uh, uh, Get the kidneys filtering, adrenals up, of course. Get that lymph moving because this is going to be in the wall syndrome. At the same time, you know, clean the wall off. You can use the heal all capsules, uh, the stomach and bowel capsules. Mostly you see marshmallow slip around, very gentle, and very soft on the tissue, very healing, anti-inflammatory, start of things. But remember, this is acidosis. These are roaring acids. You're going to find the problem in your wall, burning through the wall, probably not fun. Get that lymph moving. This is an internal problem, my friend, to get that lymph moving. Get your, your, your kidneys and your adrenals up. Get that connection and uh, really get up there and work on that and get this colitis out of there. I took a kidney, adrenal, and antifungal formula and wasn't sure if I was detoxifying heavily or aggravating my gut with grain alcohol. Well, you could buffer it with some uh, teas and uh, a marshmallow slip around tea, mullion tea, uh, even chamomile might uh, do a little bit of that. Uh, um, yeah, making some teas to be safe. But uh, the tinctures shouldn't. I mean, I've never had that problem. I mean, we've had roaring GI tract cancers, colitis, enteritis, Crohn. I use all of them on the same people. Never had any problems. My questions are about my sister. Okay. After many years of digestive problems, she finally figured out that she can't have gluten, neither can anybody. It's a protein. Gluten is a protein. And many other foods due to allergies. Now, let's stop right there and tell you that this your sister is lymphatically compromised big time in the wall of the gallbladder, also in the wall of the liver here. So she's got to go back and correct what she should have done before instead of just, you know, going under the advice of a, a crazy man who, or a woman who wanted to remove her gallbladder. Okay, so you want to fix this lymph system. She has digestive problems, so I'm suggesting that the pancreas is all backed up too. So again, you want to clean up her bowels, get her kidneys and adrenals working so she can filter. That'll drain the bowel wall, the, the spleen, the pancreas, the liver. You know, go in and start cleaning her out because she's got to do this. And the allergies just tells you that her lymph system's backed up. That, that's all that is. She also realized that her fructose malabsorption, uh, I don't even go there. I, I think that's just, a, that's idiocy. It doesn't feel well after eating most fruit. Well, fruit is the most aggressive, and I disagree with fructose uh, malabsorption crap thinking. Uh, she has been following a strict gluten-free, dairy-free diet for the past few years, but eats meat and grains. Now, wait a minute. You said she was away from gluten, but she eats grains. Uh, I don't get that. Okay. Along with veggies and limited fruit. Well, I'll say this. Put it on all raw. Get rid of the grains. Get all raw. Get the salads, the greens. 
with with some grapes and things like this. Clean up her. She probably has malabsorption, period. And remember, the action of fruit is so much more aggressive. They're more magnetic. They're more astringent. People mistaken that for being bad for them. So, and it can invoke some allergy symptoms in some ways. Not the uh, closing of the throat and the anaphylactic shock syndromes, but the skin, the hives, it can. Because that's, those people are so backed up lymphatically that the word is scary because they can lose their lymph nodes from this and losing lymph nodes would not be a good idea. So really, this is a case that really has to detoxify herself, get more aggressive, get rid of the meat, get rid of the grains. I mean, uh, what's she bitching for? She's eating meat and grains. That, that, that's just as bad as anything else. I mean, whole grains is right next door to white flour. Uh, so I would like to know your thoughts on what causes people to have problems absorbing fructose. I don't think they have a problem absorbing fructose. Do you think she's cleansed, detoxed? Would she eliminate her allergies? And could she do it without a gallbladder and with the problems digesting fruit? If she has a problem digesting fruit, she has a problem digesting any carbohydrate. That's the pancreas. That isn't selective where you can digest vegetables but not fruits. Uh -uh. Matter of fact, she's going to digest fruits better. There's another reason she's having a problem with this. But with that said, guys, you can put her on a, a salad, high green diet if you want. Use some green juices. Get away from the salads. Get some fruits and green juices. Find the fruits that she can tolerate and start detoxifying. This is where our little friends, the herbs, come in here. And they can accelerate herself to Wellville and the more ingestion of more fruit. So I'd definitely get her on. For me, I'd be going after my GI tract. I'd be going after my kidneys. I'd be going after my adrenals. I'd be going after my lymphatic system. I'd be honking on in my body, fixing the reality here. Matter of fact, I'd probably alternate between a liver gallbladder formula and a pancreatic formula. That way I'm saving money, but at the same time, I'm getting in both of these tissues. Even though most, if you look at herbology, most of the herbs, it's good for the liver, particularly the barber's group. You know, yellow dock, burdock, morgan grapefruit, they're still good for the pancreas. So, you know, all this is just good stuff. Remember, it's the lymph system that she's after. The allergies are the big giveaway right there. And she probably has mucoid plaque on the bowel. Clean that mucoid plaque off the bowel wall and go interstitially in the bowel wall. That's the lymph system. You need the kidneys and the lymph nodes for that. And get, get your sister taken care of, sweetheart. Get her detoxed. No difference than any, uh, any other of the YouTubers out there detoxing. you got to go right after her there. She is five foot six and around 105 pounds. Huh. Five foot six and 105. So what's her problem right off? Malabsorption. So one, her lymph system is backed up in the bowel wall, intestinal walls, which is lymphatic, of course. And two, she could have mucoid plaque on the wall. Use the stomach and bowel formulas to get this plaque off. The GI broom scrapes this stuff out of there. That's what I would be doing. And then get my kidneys and adrenals online so she can move that lymph in the wall there. Definitely.